We hope that it will not be necessary to close all the motion picture houses because of some of the ones that are not desirable, but that we will have cleaner and better motion pictures so that they may all stay open. What happened, of course, in the 20s and the 30s, that when they began to get very raunchy, the Catholic Church and fundamentalist Protestants came down hard. You know, it was a lot of pulpit stuff, a lot of preaching about orgiastic aspects of what was happening on the screen. The big change occurred when the movie moguls got together. Let's save Hollywood. We must get an outsider, preferably some politician who was above suspicion. So they looked into the cabinet of Warren G. Harding. At that time, there were a number of unindicted members of his cabinet. And they picked the postmaster general, Will Hayes of Indiana, who looked not unlike Mickey Mouse. The code sets up high standards of performance for motion picture producers. It states the considerations which good taste and community value make necessary in this universal form of entertainment. Will Hayes would head the movie's first voluntary effort at self-censorship. The early Hayes Code was a token gesture, seldom taken seriously. But by 1934, the Catholic Church had devised a scheme of its own. The Legion of Decency not only rated movies as to content, but threatened massive boycotts. Hollywood promised to play by the rules. The Hayes Code just, uh set up a series of, of rules that were that were inviolable. Code director Joe Breen ran Hollywood censorship machinery for over two decades. He was authorized to change words, personalities, and plots. A novel about a sexually confused alcoholic became a movie about an alcoholic with writer's block. A novel about gay bashing and murder became a movie about anti-Semitism and murder. Our American people are a pretty homely and wholesome crowd. Cockeyed philosophies of life, ugly sex situations, cheap jokes and dirty dialogue are not wanted. Decent people don't like this sort of stuff, and it is our job to see to it that they get...